Hi, welcome to Uncovering the Valley with Tammy Collins. Today my guest is Mike Doherty, and he's going to tell us about a new game that's coming to town very soon. Yeah. And it's going to be called Winchesteropoly rather than Monopoly. Right. Yes. Okay, so tell us how this got started. I mean, are you, um, did you just create this in your, in your own mind? No, we're, um, it's actually a fundraiser that we're doing for the Millbrook Marching Pioneers. Um, one of our board members brought it to us, brought the idea to us, um, and it just kind of grew into this phenomenon that it's become. A phenon. Yeah. <laughs> So it's called Winchester Opoly because it's going to have, instead of Park Place or Marvin Gardens, which is, of course, a Milton Bradley name, right. it's going to have things like... Well, what we ended up doing was uh, we go around and for the customized version for Winchester Opoly, we actually have the local businesses sponsor the spaces on the board. Mm. So instead of landing on uh, Park Place, you're going to land on Navy Federal Credit Union, okay? Instead of landing on Boardwalk, you're going to land on Valley Health, mm. okay? And so the businesses get to put their, either their photo or a logo right there on the spot. It goes on the deed. Everything is On custom. the deed. They get, it goes on the deed as well? It goes as well. on the deed as well. On the nice. back of the deed, uh, there'll be their logo or their photo, and then whatever that they choose to put. They can do just name, address, and phone number. They can do a little story about their business, whatever they like, um, and it goes from there. Wow, so have, how many spots are on a Monopoly game? On the board that itself, there are 40 spaces. Um, if you include the community chest and chance, there's 42. Okay, but, uh, and yeah. those are all sold out at this point? We sold everything in about two weeks. Wow. Uh, wow. we, we did have, we had one setback. We had a, somebody who had unfortunately had to, to drop their sponsorship. They had a, a crisis with their business. Uh, and we were able to get that spot picked right back up. And it, we, we have people who are still calling. We have a waiting list of businesses who are asking, should anybody drop out, please consider us. Okay. So if, if there are only 42 spots on the board, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that from the look of, because this is Warrenopoly from Warren yeah, County. this is the right? Warren County version. So on this box, there are several things. There are pictures on the front, and then also I noticed on the back, there are things. Is mm -hmm. this an opportunity also? And So what we ended up doing was we did sponsorships on the back of the box. We're doing a list of all of our sponsors, in addition to being in on the game, will have their names listed here. And then we also have an opportunity for uh, any patrons, anybody who wants to just sponsor, uh, to have their family name put on there. Oh. Um, my, we did, my wife and my kids did it. Uh, so you can do that. That's a $25 sponsorship and your name will be on the box, okay? That's very Right nice. now, um, we have a limited amount of space left. I can't remember the exact number. It's somewhere between 10 and 15, I believe. So they need to call now. <laughs> well, they, what they can do is uh, they'll have this, this flyer will be available at Solenburgers here Solenberg. in town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love uh, Solenburgers. Solenburgers will have this at, their, at four locations in their store. You can get that. Everything's self-explanatory. There's a name, phone number, website, or an email mm -hmm. that they can contact us at um, if they'd like to go ahead and get put on the board. Okay. And just to give uh, our audience an idea of what the board is going to look like, mm -hmm. I'll take this off. And, and it will actually say Winchester Opley on it. Mm -hmm. So can you, can you name some of the businesses that have already um, sure. taken the spots? Sure. Um, I know that one of the first spots we sold was to A&M Auto. They bought their spot. Mm -hmm. um, the George Washington Hotel. How perfect is that? Yep. They can have those little hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, the start space was sponsored by Shenandoah University. Oh. Okay. Good place to start in yeah. life at college. <laughs> and I take one of my one of my favorites on this on this board is good is gonna be, excuse me. Instead of the jail, 
go to jail, which we can't do. Right, because it's a uh, Because that's a monopoly mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. uh, the Warren County version, they did go to courthouse. On ours, we sold both of those spots to a local boutique. So on our game, when you land here, you're going to Kimberly's. Oh. Kimberly's and L.L. Well, McKee. Oh, I love that. So you get to go on a two-roll shopping spree to Yay. stick around. Yay. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yep. Um, so when you are able, when you're buying these, mm -hmm. or if you're not sponsoring this, or you're not involved in this, yep. what are you selling these for? Where can you get them? The game is going to sell for twenty dollars. That's a steal. Yeah. So uh, you know, it, it's when it comes to purchasing them. Mm -hmm. So it'll take about about two months. We're hoping to have the games actually here around the first week of September. First Just, week of September. Mm -hmm. okay. But so, they have to order before that. Uh, no. No, they don't. No, okay. no, no. no. Uh, they're welcome to go to our Gmail account, mm -hmm. okay, winchesteropoly at gmail.com. Okay. And we're taking pre-orders. Okay. All right. We can do that. Um, we're going to set up in certain locations. I'm sure we'll set up at football games and mm -hmm. so on. There are certain businesses downtown, like um, I know that the Shenandoah Discovery Museum oh, that's is a sponsor. perfect place for this, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they bought some games. They're going to have them in their little store when you first come Excellent. in. Uh, right next to them on the game and in life is Thinker Toys, right yes, on the corner. right on the corner. Mm -hmm. Aaron at Thinker Toys uh, has about two dozen of them he's going to put out for sale. Great. Okay. Over here uh, is going to be the Alamo, the Green Turtle, and the Hand and Stone Spa. What the Alamo has done for us is <clears throat> they have offered us a, a release party where they are going to allow us to come in and set up in the lobby. Mm -hmm. Okay, They're going to put a game board themed movie on one of their screens and we get to invite everybody out to come out. They can buy their games, they can have a drink, they can see a movie, get something to eat. Um, the Hideaway Cafe did the same thing for us. The Hideaway Cafe wants to have a game night where we have, we can't have the entire marching band come down. It's not quite that big. <laughs> Can you see them coming down the staircase <laughs> in the Hideaway Cafe? But so we're going to have some members of the band come out, play for the people. They're going to sell the game. You can set up and play the game there. Okay. Um, and um, the MPAA, which is the Millbrook Pioneer Athletic Association, mm -hmm. they have their big one of their big fundraisers in August called the Pig Out. It is a big barbecue competition with dunk tanks and all kinds of fun things to do. Uh, if the game is ready, which I don't think it will be, but oh. if it's ready, the MPAA has offered us a spot at their Pig Out so we can come set it up and show it to them. If not, he said, bring what you have and we can pre-sale right there at theirs. So, Fantastic. yeah, it's the, the the excitement that we're hearing is just, it's really, really great. Well, we're going to take a break right now, but when we come back, we're going to talk to Mike a little, a little bit more about what's going on with Winchesteropoly. Stay tuned. You're saying she's cured. I can't explain what can't be explained. Based on the incredible true story. You either roll with it or you get rolled on. Miracles are love. Miracles are everywhere. The extraordinary movie that will make you believe. Miracles from Heaven. Olympic gold medals. But this is a race I really want to win. Ten people in America drown every day. It's the race to save lives. One in five kids are younger than me. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. Swimming became my passion. It changed my life. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. Drowning is preventable. Did you know that swim lessons reduce the risk by 88%? Yay! Visit USAswimmingfoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make a splash! I'm glad I did. 
Thanks, Mom. The USA Swimming Foundation, saving lives and building champions. Hi, welcome back. Today we are talking about Winchester Opoly with Mike Doherty. Love his wife, Tessa. A little <laughs> shout out to her. So do I. <laughs> It's a good thing. I told him if he ever left her, nobody would ever speak to him again. <laughs> <laughs> we love Tessa. Uh, but you you talked about the fact that you've had all of these these sold out and that your sponsors uh, are all businesses. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to do a release party at the Alamo. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So I think what our hope is for the release party is, is to put together some type of an evite to try to get an idea um, with an R, you know, try to do an RSVP. We want to try to get a, to gauge how many people are going to come. We're going to release the same evite, I believe, through uh, the school's website, through Charms, mm -hmm. to the kids, to their parents. The hope is um, that we can generate enough of a buzz to have people come out to really just, you know, get the businesses out there, get the people out there interacting with the businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and uh, to just. Our hope is, is that we can get everybody there and do a ton of sales right there on day one. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to allow the kids, anybody who comes to purchase a game. At the Alamo. At that the night. Alamo. Okay. So we had some businesses who wanted to help but couldn't. But what they did is they offered up um, uh, like a door prize. Oh. Uh, Bonnie Blue offered uh, mm -hmm. a gift basket. Uh, as a matter of fact, the GW Hotel offered up. I believe two one night stays at the hotel. Nice. Um, and we had a couple others. So I think there's not 100% yet. We still have, I'm learning with committees and boards <laughs> that no decision is simple. Right, right. But I believe what we want to do is is for every game that is purchased at the Alamo that night, you will be, you will get a ticket and you'll be entered into a raffle to win one of the door prizes. So if a business a business owner that's watching now or maybe a family member of a business owner is interested in donating a door prize they're able to do that it's still absolutely. at this point yeah absolutely they can contact us at winchesteropoly at gmail.com great that, there's a great opportunity mm -hmm. and it's inexpensive for the uh, the businesses that maybe weren't able to do this but they can donate something that has their information and mm -hmm. and give that away and that'd be fun yeah. so you said that they're going to show a board game themed movie. themed movie which is Kind of like maybe what? like a Jumanji, um, oh. something along that line. Um, I'm not sure yet. We haven't we haven't gotten that far into it. Okay. But uh, yeah, I don't do have children, so yeah. I don't. Yeah, I mean, no. my, so, my four legged children don't watch TV <laughs> much. So. so they'll do something, you know, PG, but mm -hmm. something fun, something that ties into the game, and uh, I think it'll be really interesting. That's fun. Okay, so getting back to the board here for just a second, because we want to we want to talk about the businesses that did mm -hmm. this. There are a lot of railroads <laughs> in Monopoly. Yeah. So uh, we have one, what, what, one or two tracks that run through Winchester, but surely to goodness you didn't. No. no. <laughs> so how did you we deal with the railroads? Those. So what we did is we kind of stole from the Warren County version. Okay. Uh, we really liked what they did, mm -hmm. and they did, they did uh, restaurants on oh. their spots. And so instead of owning one railroad, two railroads, you own restaurants. The more restaurants you own, the higher the rent is, just like the regular Monopoly game. So, you know, on, I think it's over here, uh, we've got the Firefly Cafe. Mm. John Brower at the NW Works was fantastic. He bought the spot, pre-ordered a ton of games, okay. Um, we've got um, Roma to Go, mm -hmm. and they did two spots, oh. and the Hideaway Cafe took the fourth one. You know, talking about John Brower at the Firefly Cafe, they have that blueberry jam coffee. If you haven't tried that, oh my gosh, <laughs> they I order it so often that when I come Tessa in, they, drinks it. they call me Blueberry. <laughs> Hi, Blueberry. Welcome back. <laughs> yep. T Tessa drinks it. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. I even bought some to take home so I can have it when I'm not able to go. So um, with everything that has happened with this game and all of the buzz and the excitement that's going on, how many games are you expecting or hoping to sell. Right. So right now we have agreed, like I said about with boards. Right. So right now there is an agreement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we started at a thousand. We just moved it up to fifteen hundred. There is talk about maybe moving that to two thousand. Wow. Okay. Um, we have as of right now pre-sold almost three hundred games. 
And that is just through the sponsors. That is just talking to 50 people. Mm -hmm. We've sold about almost 300 games. So the students haven't even the begun students to, haven't even begun to do any of that, right? And the way that the the fundraiser works is, is that the sponsorships for the board raises the money to pay for the game. So when we get the games, okay. we own them free and clear. Oh. So the twenty dollars that we sell the game for is pure profit. Okay. And the way that we set this up is. Um, and this is a little different. Normally, when the kids go out to do a fundraiser and they go around and they're selling the frozen Would you like cookie to buy dough, some popcorn? would you like to buy some <laughs> wrapping paper? You know, listen, I, I love the frozen <laughs> cookie dough more than anybody, but I just can't, I don't get excited to sell it. Right. Okay. So, on those, there's a split. The kids sell it, the boosters gets a cut, the kid gets a cut, goes into their personal band account. Oh, I see. On this one, mm -hmm. we are doing 100%. Whoever sells the game, if a booster sells the game, $20 goes to the booster's account. If the kid sells the game, $20 goes to their account. Okay? Oh. So this is a trip year coming up for our Millbrook Marching Pioneers. Where are they going? Uh, we don't know yet. Oh, okay. It's top secret. Oh. Uh, he could it, tell us, but he'd have to shoot us. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it, they normally have to raise somewhere in the neighborhood of about $700 each. Each child. Each child to needs go to, on a trip. to go on the trip. Okay. The the last trip we went on, wow. they went down to Florida, they went down to Orlando, they went down to Universal, and they, they practiced with one of the local colleges down there, and they played That's at nice. Universal. Uh, this year, I think they're headed north. But wow. they got to raise about $700 each, and that's a lot of cookie dough to sell. Okay. Yes, that's a lot of cookie dough to sell. At $20 a game. You can you can really put a dent into that, okay? And so it's a really great opportunity for our kids to 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 do that. Okay, so how many how many students are there in the band? There's about 133, I believe. 133. So if each of them sold five or ten, they sold ten games. Yeah, as it sits right now, at 1,500 games that we've decided to order, with our 300 pre-sales. we don't have enough games if those kids each just sold ten games to to do that. We would sell out. Wow. Okay. And um, so okay. It, it's a first world problem to have. It is a first world <laughs> okay. problem. Let's be clear. And on that note, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. You're saying she's cured. I can't explain what can't be explained. Based on the incredible true story. You either roll with it or you get rolled on. <laughs> Miracles are love. Miracles are everywhere. The extraordinary movie that will make you believe. Miracles from Heaven. I was uh, someone in need of identity. I was in someone uh, who was uh, caught up in the mess of drug addiction. My dad had brought to my attention that I needed to get help and I fought it because I was like, I don't need to go to a program, I'm good. I stopped using I was like a month clean at this point. I needed help. I was caught up in drug addiction and I had been going through it for years and years. At one point, I finally realized that I could, uh, I could live a sober, clean life and be happy. My dad was like, it's either there or jail. And I chose to come to the program instead. God really used this ministry to help me get free from the addiction, but also not just me, but also to restore my family. And through that process of our family being restored, we really got a passion to help others that were struggling with drug and alcohol addictions and help restore their families also. This program saved my life, and uh, I recommend it to anyone that's struggling and needs help. Where are we going? What are we pursuing? Success, greatness, or something bigger. We believe in a calling that reaches beyond ourselves, where leadership is shaped by service. And knowledge isn't just an individual pursuit, it's something we're meant to share. Where strength isn't demonstrated in power, but through humility. Answer the call at Liberty University. We're with Michael Doherty today talking about Winchester Opoly. And you were saying that you're going to order about 1,500 board games. Yeah. 
Uh, are we keeping these in your living room? <laughs> Where are you going to store 15? Not if I want to stay married. <laughs> okay. This is true. This yeah. is true. So, um, because we own the games free and clear, we, we have to keep them someplace safe. We right. can't store them at the school. I mean, it's a $20 bill that could just walk, walk away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we did is we partnered with Storage Solutions. Okay. Okay, local storage company who has offered us, and we're working with them, and we're uh, be storing them over there. Um, they were nice enough to, to work with us on that, and so that way we'll, we'll be the only ones that have access to these games, and we can control the inventory oh. of what's coming in and going out. That's nice. So yeah. 1,500 games. A, Really, you, you need to sell those 1,500 games, and maybe even more, maybe if possible. Even more. Because I personally did not realize, until I spoke with you, how incredibly expensive it is for children who want to go be in band. Mm -hmm. I mean, the uniforms and the... Tell us, tell us about that, the yeah. expense of that, and how important it is to, to sell these to provide that. Sure. So, I, I'm two years into this now. Our son joined the band as a freshman, mm -hmm. and I got a little taste of it about with all the fundraisers. It's just, you know, you're like, wow, why are they doing all this? It just seems overkill. And then this year I got a little more involved, and um, I actually just joined the board of the Band Boosters Association, and I'm learning the, the expense. The schools are so strapped right now. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the money is so tight. And you hear about programs being cut. Oh, they can't afford Sadly. to do this. They can't afford to yeah. do that. And so if it falls back onto us. It falls back onto the band boosters, the MPAA. We've got to raise the money. MPAA? The MPAA is the Millbrook Pioneer Athletic Association. Okay. So they do the same thing, but they're doing it for the other sports. Okay. We've got oh. to raise money to do these things. The school just can't afford to, to provide for all of it. Um, and so, you know, we've got the band uniforms cost somewhere around a thousand dollars a piece. You know, that's in U.S. currency. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yep. And you know, we have to maintain the the instruments. A lot of the instruments are, are the schools. Oh. The, oh. The kids don't provide their own all the time. Oh. All right. And so we have to maintain those. They need to be repaired. They need right because be they have to pass on to the next exactly. Class and a lot that of the, a, yeah, a lot of the the instruments that we have are instruments that were there when Millbrook first opened. Okay, um, like a harpsichord. <laughs> <laughs> we just, as a matter of fact, I just learned the other night that our band director is coming to us because he needs six new sousaphones. Now I'm only two years in. Right. I don't know what a sousaphone is. Big, Apparently, it's like They're a big giant. tuba yes, looking thing. you can thing. drive them on the weekends. Okay. They're big enough. <laughs> They're six thousand dollars a piece. My first car didn't cost six thousand dollars. So we need thirty-six thousand dollars if we're going to replace just six instruments. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen all at one time. Wow. Okay. But that's just one instrument. Okay. And so I, I'm learning, and I'm becoming. I've learned to appreciate just how hard it is when you see these kids coming around knocking on your door saying we're raising money for mm. this and it used to be really easy to say uh i yeah, gave it the office yeah, uh, yeah just <laughs> leave me an envelope and i'll mail something right and this goes not just for millbrook this is for every school in the area all right if you can help out i mean please do whether it be with a monetary donation mm -hmm. or or with your time you know that's the thing if you can just help out volunteer we, we always need help. If, if people wanted to volunteer, what sort of things would they be doing? Um, it would depend on what, yeah, I mean, like we have our big um, Battle of the Blue Ridge. Battle of the Blue Ridge, I think that's what it's called, where we have the band competition that comes to Millbrook, okay? Oh. We have to move all of the equipment. We have a pit crew that moves every band's equipment. There is, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the concession stand. There's mm. parking. There's... And that's just us. I mean, every school could use a hand with, with their programs. So if you're available and you have time, money, whatever you can do to help would really, really be appreciated. Well, that's nice that you're giving a shout out to other schools and not just, I mean, it is our community, yeah. which is really what this is about. I mean, yeah, this has absolutely. nothing to do with what high school you go to. This is anybody in Frederick County, Winchester City can get involved in this. Yeah, and that was important. Even though it's called Winchesteropoly, yes. it is the Winchester Frederick County. Yes. Yeah, it's not just the city of Winchester. We did go out, and so we've got businesses from all over. 
great. Okay. So is there anything else that our audience needs to know about this in terms of um, are there any secrets to winning, like a free pass to go directly to Kimberly's? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I think I, I think if you want to go to Kimberly's, she'd let me. <laughs> she would absolutely let you. And um, I don't know of a husband out there that's going to tell his wife, "No, you're not going to oh, Kimberly's." Oh, this is true. No, mine certainly wouldn't. He so, pretty much lets me do anything I want to. Yep. That's fantastic. So, okay, so we are going to be having these available. You can order them through the Gmail account, mm -hmm. or you can go to Winchester Opley Facebook. Yes. Just search Winchester Opley. It'll come up on the Facebook, and just let somebody know that you want to order a game. Is yeah. that basically what you do? When the you easiest way is, yeah, is to go <coughs> into the Winchester Opley at gmail.com. Oh, okay. And we, we've started taking pre-orders. Okay. okay, from the public. Um, so we've got somebody that's tracking those. Like I said, we're a couple months away from the actual delivery of the game, mm -hmm. but um, once that happens, we'll we'll take care. We'll set up a date where people can come and pick up their games. So just to remind us one more time. What do you think the approximate date? We're these... hoping for the first week of September. So these would be great Christmas gifts. Great Christmas gifts. Fantastic. That would be great fa family fun on uh, Christmas morning after you open the presents and mm -hmm. you can actually after you eat dinner and. <laughs> wake up from your nap and, <laughs> and I don't know how things are at your house but there's some napping on Christmas afternoon mm -hmm. at yeah. my house um, so what we're going to do here at my show is if you would like to be entered into a contest to win a Winchester Opley game if you go on my Facebook page and you like us you will be entered to win a game if you have already liked us and you share us again we will then include you as well. So we'd love to give away three of these games and um, hopefully we can uh, can get the word out to everybody about Winchester Opoly. That would be great. And the Millbrook Pioneer Band Boosters. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And all of the good work that you all are doing. So again, just remind us one more time, we're going to put it up across the bottom of the screen. It will be WinchesterOpoly at gmail.com or find and like us on Facebook okay. at Winchesteropoly. At Winchesteropoly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again for tuning in today. And I really encourage you to reach out and, and buy a Winchesteropoly game for your family. It's, it's buy two. Buy two. Um, buy one and get the second one at the same price. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Was that yeah. good? So um, anyway, thank you again for letting us come into your home. And we look forward to seeing you again the next time on Uncovering the Valley with Tammy Collins. Have a great day.